Are you a mom who's trying to buy healthy and organic foods for you and your family on a budget? And you're wondering if Aldi is the answer to all of your prayers? Well, stay tuned because in this video today, we're gonna get into my first ever Aldi experience. I'm gonna let you know my thoughts, the pros, the cons, and if it's worth it for you to head over to one and explore your options. Hi everybody, my name is Jessica. I'm a holistic nutritionist, but mainly I'm just an everyday mom and I'm trying to make simple and natural choices for myself and for my family that integrate really easily into our very busy lifestyle. If that sounds like you or something that you might be interested in, I would love it if you would, hey, you know, I don't know, join our family. And if you're wondering how you can do that, let me tell you, it takes about one second, you can open up the description box down below and hit that big red subscribe button. I would love to have you. I make weekly videos that help busy moms navigate through this incredibly crowded wellness space. So I took a poll on Instagram and I asked you guys if you wanted me to stop by an Aldi and do a haul. So when I saw the overwhelming response of yeses, I did a little bit of digging and research. There is not an Aldi anywhere near or close to my area, so I did have to drive a little bit. So I went on Google and I looked through the reviews. And the location that I did choose had over six 600 positive reviews on Google. So I went yesterday on a Wednesday in the middle of the day when it wasn't too crowded. And so I went in, I did a full lap of the store before I even picked up anything, just to kind of get the lay of the land. Now, when I first walked into the store, I definitely like couldn't get a feel of the flow. It seemed to me like things weren't really organized in the way that I shop or I typically shop at a grocery store. When I first walked in, there was like chips and soda and wine, and then it quickly went into like nuts and baby food. It didn't give me that cohesive shopping experience. I get at a Whole Foods, a Costco even, a Trader Joe's, a Kroger, or a Meyer. I skipped past the chips and the nuts because to be honest with you, none of them look like great healthy options. I saw they had some quinoa potato chips. There was tons of really bad vegetable oils like canola oil in them. So even though they were gluten-free chips, it wasn't worth me purchasing them to taste them because that's not something I would typically buy. So that is one thing I wanna preface throughout this entire video. I did go in there with an open mind. However, I wasn't gonna just purchase a bunch of things so I could post on YouTube massive Aldi haul because that just did not feel authentic and sit right with me. So to be honest with you, my list is really short. I didn't have a ton of of success. I saw that they had some quinoa and the organic quinoa did look great. However, the price per pound is much less expensive at Costco than it is at Aldi. The next thing that I saw was they had organic flax seeds. And if you guys watch my recent After Dark Costco haul, if you haven't, I'll go ahead and link that up here. You know that I love to buy my nuts and my seeds at Costco. By and large, the absolute best bang for your buck to buy your nuts and seeds at Costco. And they have organic ground flax seeds at Costco at a much lower price per pound. And in addition to that, the flax seeds are already ground. So let me tell you something about these flax seeds that are at Aldi that aren't ground. You need to go home and you need to grind them because if you just sprinkle them on your oatmeal or your cereals or in your baked goods, you're not going to absorb them. In order to absorb the benefits of flax seeds like your omegas and your fiber, they need to be ground. So if you wanna take that extra step and buy the smaller bag at Aldi, take them home and grind them, that is something to be really conscious and mindful of. And I was really excited to make this video for you guys, but I was striking out left and right. There was absolutely nothing in the first two aisles that I would purchase at any other grocery store. So I went back and I retraced my steps and I said, all right, let's really buckle down and try and find some items that I think that are a great healthy recommendation. And the first two things that I did pick up were freeze dried fruits. And while not perfect, I thought that they were definitely a great snack for you or for your kids on a busy day when you're running from after school to gymnastics and to extracurricular activities or if you're anything like my son, when I pick him up from school, he seems to be a little bit hangry, so I always try to bring him a little snack for the car ride home. And I thought he would really like these. And these are non-GMO freeze-dried Asian pears, and the only ingredient in here are pears. So to me, that was a bonus. Sometimes when you get freeze-dried fruit, they can have like citric acid, other preservatives, and even sugar, so you have to be careful. Now, the reason I say these aren't perfect is because they're non-GMO. They're not organic. And I did buy strawberries. And strawberries are on the dirty dozen. So they are non-genetically engineered and non-genetically modified. However, they aren't USDA organic. So again, not perfect. However, they are definitely a healthier option that you can buy at Aldi. So the price for these guys were 
$2.99. I thought that was a really good deal. At Trader Joe's, they're definitely a little bit more expensive. These are yummy. You can sprinkle them on top of some coconut yogurt in the morning for breakfast, or even on some pancakes. These are a good yummy snack, and if you're gonna have a treat, these are definitely a better alternative. The produce section, this is definitely where I've heard mixed reviews. A lot of you warned me of this, and I had seen this when I had done a little bit of research on Aldi, is that some Aldi's have a great big organic section, and some, it's just a small, tiny little end cap, and that was like the Aldi I went to. Again, the one I went to did not have that, but I did see in the refrigerated section, they had a couple extra greens. I saw this massive bag of kale. I was really excited. There's about four servings in this bag, which is about five cups per serving. It's a really good price for the volume of the organic kale. And the price for this big massive bag was only $3.19. In the same refrigerated section, I did see this baby spinach and arugula mix. And now I love arugula. I'm sure most of you love arugula as well. There's nothing like that peppery, earthy taste. I'm obsessed with arugula and I go through it like water. So when I saw this container, it is spinach and arugula mix. However, I was happy about it because the price on this was $2.49. Now the price for a size like this at Kroger, I think is four or $5.99. Don't quote me on that. I will look this week and link it somewhere on the screen, the proper price comparison between Kroger and Aldi for a size like this of arugula. However, when I saw this for $2.49, I knew it was a great deal and a great value. Part of the meal plan that I did on Sunday for my family for the week included broccoli. We were actually out of broccoli. I was at Whole Foods three times this week and forgot to grab it every time. So when I saw that they had organic broccoli at Aldi, I was really excited. I thought that that was a great deal for this much broccoli. I was definitely excited that they had broccoli included because broccoli is such a versatile vegetable for people. It's something that they can grab. They're not intimidated by it. Sometimes when you go into natural grocery stores or like a Whole Foods, people can get really intimidated by the produce section. They see a bunch of fruits and vegetables that they've never seen or heard of before, and they have no idea how to prepare them. Broccoli is one of those ones that everybody knows how to use it. You can include it in pretty much anything. You can definitely include it in smoothies. If you haven't added broccoli to your smoothies yet, you should certainly give it a try. So I was happy that they had this option at Aldi for $2.39. The next organic item I found was this bag of four organic avocados. Because sometimes when you go to certain grocery stores, even like Kroger, they won't have a massive section of organic avocados. And if they do, sometimes they're like old and over ripened. So these ones were perfect and I saw them at Aldi. I can always depend on Trader Joe's to have bags of organic avocados. So that's just a pro tip for you. But they had a bag of four organic avocados for, let's see, for $4.49. I thought that that was a great deal for organic avocados. And if you watched my last video on five winter superfoods that you should be buying this week, I'll go ahead and link that up here. You know that avocados are an incredible winter superfood. So buying avocados in the winter is fantastic. You're eating seasonally, you're getting all the incredible benefits. And then if you can get them for $4.49 at Aldi, it's definitely a great buy. We love to have little sweet peppers on hand as snacks. My son loves to have them for dipping into hummus or guacamole. It's an after school snack. And so when I saw this bag of organic sweet baby peppers and they were for $3.29, I knew I had to pick them up. We're also gonna be making tacos this weekend. So I had these on my list of things that I needed to purchase. So when I saw these ones, I thought that it was a great purchase. So when you're at Aldi and you're going through your organic section, whether it's a small end cap like the one I went to or a bigger one, I'm sure they'll have bags of these organic sweet peppers. And I definitely recommend picking these up. All right, we're making it to the end. I have three things left. The next two are very similar, and I think it's safe to say I saved the best for last on these next three items. The next two go hand in hand. I had heard that Aldi had this, and was really hoping that the location I went to wasn't an exception, and that they would have this in store. And that is 100% grass-fed beef. I love grass-fed beef. And if you watch my Costco haul, again, I'll link that right here. You know, if I've been to Costco and I haven't had a chance to go to Whole Foods that day, many times I will pick up the Costco ground beef because it is organic and high quality. However, I do love to get grass-fed beef and Aldi had that. Aldi had 100% ground grass-fed beef. I was thrilled when I saw this. So the price for this pack of 100% grass-fed beef was only $4.99. Like I said, we are making tacos this weekend. I got the sweet peppers and I got this. I was thrilled when I saw this at Aldi. Then I picked up this chuck roast. If you've been following my journey, I do make a ton of homemade baby food 
for Sawyer. Many times I do beef with the bone in and some beef without the bone in, or I'll switch it up a little bit and I'll put both in the crock pot together. But I found 100% grass-fed beef chuck roast. This massive pack of grass-fed beef was only $16.46. Now, I would need to compare price per pound I will do that actually. I will compare price per pound and I will put it somewhere here on the screen because about every week or every other week, do go to Whole Foods and get a Chuck Rose for us to either do pot roast or different recipes. And I'm pretty sure for this size, it would be well over $20. And this was only $16.46 for this massive cut of grass fed beef. If not for nothing, give it a shot, if only for the grass-fed beef. Well, my friend here just woke up from a nap and clearly wanted to help me close out the video with our very last item that I found at Aldi yesterday. And I was beyond shocked. There was one in the store, I saw it, and I made a beeline to it, and that is this beautiful fiddle leaf fig tree. I'm almost certain it's a fiddle leaf fig tree because it looks just like the one I want to get from Restoration Hardware that's a faux one because I've heard that they're a little bit tricky to actually keep alive. And I this one at Restoration Hardware for years, but I saw this one for, wait for it, $12.99. I couldn't possibly leave the store without bringing this home. So if you go to Aldi, there's a couple things I would definitely recommend looking into. The grass-fed beef is a win. That was a huge buy. The organic avocados I thought were a great deal and a great buy. The bag of organic, the bag of organic kale, also, I thought that one was a great buy. If your Aldi has beautiful plants and you find yourself a $12.99 fiddle leaf fig tree, make sure you do not leave without that and tag me on Instagram. Overall, my thoughts on Aldi, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna be rushing back to get to an Aldi right now. I think that some of the prices were a great deal, but equally, I think that you can get some great deals on things at Costco and at Trader Joe's and at Kroger. And if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can now get some great deals even at Whole Foods. So you just have to be conscious about what grocery store you buy certain things at. Thank you so much for watching the video. And if you liked it, let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below. What are some of your favorite buys at Aldi? What are some of the amazing products that they carry at your location? And again, if you're new here, I would love it if you would take two seconds and consider hitting that big red subscribe button in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all very soon.